In a major announcement for developers, Huawei has rolled out a new notice regarding the Harman OS Next App Gallery. Starting from November 10, 2024, the App Gallery will exclusively support apps built using the new API 12 framework. If you're an app developer, this update is crucial for you to ensure your app remains on the platform. Huawei has officially stated that the all-new Harmony OS Next App Gallery will only support API 12 apps. This means that all developers must transition their applications to the latest API 12 SDK by the first week of November. Apps based on older or beta versions of the API, including API 12 beta builds, will no longer be listed on the App Gallery. For developers, this means that updating your apps is no longer optional, it's mandatory. If you don't upgrade your app to the latest API 12 SDK, it could face restrictions, which may significantly impact your app's availability and functionality on Harmony OS Next devices. According to Huawei's notice, starting from November 10, 2024, Huawei App Gallery on Harmony OS Next will only support API 12 apps that have integrated release SDK. Bit apps of API 12 or below will be restricted. Please complete the version update as soon as possible. This notice is a strong push from Huawei to make sure all apps on Harmony OS Next are optimized and stable. Developers who miss the deadline may see their apps being excluded from the platform, which would hurt their user base. Let's break down the importance of this API 12 update. An API, or Application Programming Interface, is the center of protocols and tools for building software and applications. It's what allows different software programs to communicate with each other. SDK, or Software Development Kit, is another crucial tool that provides a set of software development tools for developers to build applications. With API 12, Huawei has introduced a series of improvements that ensure better compatibility with Harmony OS Next. These changes not only make apps more efficient, but also allow them to integrate seamlessly with the new features of Harmony OS Next. The new API 12 SDK offers a stable, responsive environment for apps. It allows users to manage their apps easily on Harmony OS Next devices, and the apps built with API 12 will perform better, offering users a more robust experience with improved stability and responsiveness to new features. To help developers make the transition to API 12, Huawei has also launched the Deveco Studio Next version 5.0.3.900. This is the latest dedicated development platform for building apps and services for Harmony OS Next. Deveco Studio Next brings a range of powerful features, including support for multiple programming languages and a multi-device preview option for UI codes. This allows developers to test how their apps will look and function on various devices running Harmony OS Next. Moreover, Huawei has introduced the reverse proxy option in this new Deveco Studio version. It's a new field called use underscore reverse underscore proxy in the old repo, which configures whether or not to use the reverse proxy option. This addition provides developers with even more flexibility when building their apps. Developers should start downloading the new Deveco Studio version and recompile their applications using the API 12 SDK as soon as possible. By doing so, they will make their apps more compatible with Harmony OS Next and ensure they are not left behind once the changes take effect in November. For users, this change means that apps in the Harmony OS Next ecosystem will be better optimized, more stable, and equipped to handle the new features of the operating system. For developers, it's an opportunity to enhance their apps and provide a superior user experience. In summary, if you're a developer, make sure to upgrade to the new API 12 SDK before November 10, 2024 to ensure your app continues to be listed and performs optimally on Harmony OS Next devices. Huawei's push for this transition highlights their commitment to maintaining a high standard of app quality on their platform.